Hello everybody, this is Stream Gamer back here to kick off the last 32 run for my tournament. <laughs> wow, it's, it's actually been almost three weeks since I last record since I last recorded a tournament video, so yes. We've had quite an infestive break. I hope you've all enjoyed your festive breaks. Cooling down after such an intense group stage. But now the real fun begins with the knockout rounds. And how this will be done is there will be, well, for the last 32 rounds, there will be four matches per video. So in this session, we are going to have Diddy Darius taking on Random Guy 86, Toka Nightmare going up against Fool's Capamato, our gracious host Stranger Gamer going up against Dark Ashtar, and then Ultimate Dino Queen taking on Jonas Chu. Winner goes through, the loser goes home. And it's that simple. So yeah, let's... Well, actually, before we get started, I, I'm going to talk about the last 32 round real quick, what I think will happen. We'll talk about these matches first. So, um, random Diddy Darius against Random Guy. This could be an interesting match. I feel like Diddy Darius... I've been saying it all along. Diddy Darius, I feel like, is my dark horse for this tournament. So, I feel like Diddy Darius is going to win this match. And I do believe they have a type... They have a good matchup against Random Guy as well, so... I think Diddy Darius will win this match. As for this matchup, um, well, Toka's actually done well in my tournament. Compared to last time where they had an absolute nightmare, they've actually done pretty well. So, yeah, I think Toka will win this match. Well, this is the, this is the in most intriguing match because I have been very unconvincing in this tournament. And out of all of this lot, I've actually recorded the fewest points in the group stage. Well, level with Dino Nerd as well, because on eight... So yeah, it's very limp and lackluster. But as for Dark Ashtar, they've been doing really well. In the, they did really well in the group stage. Almost winning 5 out of 5. But even against Mauls, they could have come back to, one, to win. So yes, this could be a difficult match. As for this one, well, Jonas Chu couldn't have had a harder opponent. You have Ultimate Dino Queen, who won 5 out of 5. So yeah. I'm pretty sure Queen will be keeping that winning streak going. Although, what I will say is that no one has ever won one of my tournaments without losing at least one match. That does not bode well if you're Ultimate Dino Queen or if you're Heady. But yeah, enough jibber-jabbering about that. Let's kick off the last 32 round, starting with this matchup. Wow, I'm really looking forward to this. This is going to be mind-blowing. Right, let's begin the knockout rounds. In the red corner, with for Diddy Darius, is the Gigant Spinosaurus, Diddy Darius. Quite comfortably made it through the group stage, finishing top, deservedly so, claiming many fine victories, but this last 32 round will definitely test him, because in the blue corner for Random Guy 86, it is Chasmosaurus. Random Guy 86, su kind of surprisingly, scraping through as one of the best fourth place teams. Which again, is a surprise, because they, they did well at the start, they had a really good start, and then it, they kind of stuttered a bit, so... Their form going into this is not great. But I I suspect they'll put up a fight against Diddy Darius. But I think Diddy Darius will win. But we'll just have to see what the random number generator says. Ooh, that's a good start there from Diddy Darius. Already losing my voice because I just recorded Primal Carnage. I'm going to be doing a butt ton of recording this week. Getting back in the hot seat. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, that's another tie. A lightning spear would be very convenient for a random guy 86. But he's not getting it so far. Instead, it's Diddy Darius getting hit. I'm going to have to have a refill now. I'm almost out of water. Ooh, random guy 86 striking back with his first hit of the match. But yeah, look at that. <laughs> Pitiful amount of damage. Well, the Lightning Axe will help, I suppose, but yeah. Actually, I think it did more damage than the actual hit. <laughs> Five, three. Well, I'll give Chasmosaurus props. Random, getting Random Guy 86 back in this match. Ooh, that's a tie. Not at there. And yeah, Diddy Darius taking the lead with the light recovery to come as well. 1-0 lead for Diddy Darius. But, you know, it's not the worst case scenario for Random Guy 86. The Gigant Spinosaurus did take a beating. 
Right, the old then. As for Diddy that, as for random guys second die, no, it is Tank Tector. Can this Tank Tector pull it back for random guy E6? Or will Diddy Darius extend his lead? Good for Diddy for random guy E6. Very good for Diddy Darius though. And I think this Gigant Spinosaurus is strength type as well. Big damage coming. Oh wow, big big damage. Random guy has to get this next hit. Well, it's a crystal crusher, you'll take it. At least it's a hit. Gonna kill this Gigant Spinosaurus, otherwise Diddy Darius will have a 2-0 lead and they've still got their ace in the hole left to play, the Amargosaurus. Oh, tie! And that tie will do it. Right then, speaking of the devil, here's Diddy Darius' ace in the hole, it's Amargosaurus and we have definitely seen what this thing can do. If that Futaba Cannon activates, it could be a passage to the last 16 for Diddy Darius, who finished in the top 8 last time in my last tournament. Ooh! Saichini are getting a hit there, random guy coming back, and all the more while, the bar is filling up. But the Amargosaurus is comfortable when it's on low health. Oh, it's getting lower. Ooh, this could be a play by Diddy Daria. By a random guy 86. Getting an earth barrier as well. Random guy 86 storming back into this match. Oh, it's Dino Tector. Oh, better get me notes out so I can enter the cord. You know, Tector, on! Well, this could be interesting if the Amargosaurus dies. And this side chain. I think it'll still have the Earth Barrier as well. Well, it won't matter at this point. It's going to die if it gets hit. Oh, I got hurt! <laughs> Diddy Darius dodging the bullet. And the Earth Barrier did stay in effect, but it didn't matter. And Margosaurus dodging the bullet there. And Diddy Darius has the 2-1 lead. Well, keeps the lead, because if a random guy got the hit, he would be in the lead. Right, for Random Guy's third and final dino, it is the Alpha Allosaurus. Well, this is it now. Alpha Allosaurus has got to get past his Amargosaurus and the Spinotector that's coming. Otherwise, Diddy Darius will be going through and Random Guy 86 will be going home. Oh, the attack boost is boosting up. Actually, dare I say it, one Futaba Cannon will win it for Darius. Oh, he didn't get it off. The ACT rocket coming from Random Guy. Crucial that Random Guy does not get hit by that Futaba Cannon. Well, it's because he needs to get hits in general. This Amargosaurus is maxed up in attack power. Is it going to survive this, though? Oh, it does. Now Diddy Darius has a big opportunity to win. Yeah, that's game. <laughs> that is game over for Random Guy. Diddy Darius going through to the last 16 round. Because uh, no way the Allo is surviving this. Boosh. Down she goes. Final fury for the overkills. And the ace in the hole for Diddy Darius does it again. Well, well, well. Diddy Darius going through in some style. And that is it for Random Guy 86, bowing out at the last 32 round, which is better than they did last time, because I think last time they got knocked out of the group stage, so there's an improvement. Right, on to our second match of this session, which is Toka Nightmare against Fool's Capamato, and I'm off to get a drink. Right the O then, in the red corner, for Toka Nightmare, it is an Alpha Rajasaurus. Toka's certainly not having a nightmare this time in my tournament, compared to last time. 
successfully getting out the group stage into the last 32 round. However, in the blue corner for Fool's Catamato, it is a Utoraptor. This Utoraptor will be a tight disadvantage against that Alpha Rad, so that could be a key matchup here to decide who wins this match. Overall. Well, looking at the, how the two have fared in this tournament, this could be an intriguing match. I, again, I still think Toka's going to win, but, you know, you never know. Fool's Cat has pulled off some upsets before, and they might do it again. Oosh! Well, not with a start like that. Here's the opening hit from the Raj. Getting off that tie bomb. Oop, that's a tie. Oh, it's a heat eruption! Toga never gets off heat eruption. This isn't supposed to happen. Alpha Rajasaurus getting off more heat eruptions than Omega Eukarkaria did. In, in the last tournament for Toka. <laughs> that is actually true. I don't even think the Eokakiri got off one heat eruption in the last tournament. But the Alpha Rajasaurus got off heat eruption this time. And look at that! One heat eruption and Toka has a sizable lead. I should point out that this Eukaraptor does have Sonic Blast as well. But it's not going to get the chance to use it because it's going down. Well, that was easy for Toka, wasn't it? You tore up the bite in the big one, and Toka in the lead. Right, yo, then. Now for Fool's Cap the Mato second, I know. It is an Alpha Acrocanthosaurus, which also has heat eruption. So we might get to see more heat eruption. Although, I feel like when it comes to heat eruption, I think the Alpha Raj will get it off. Is more likely to get it off than the Acro. But weirder things have happened before. Ooh, well, Fool's Cat Mato finally getting a hit in this match. Needed it as well. Can't afford to take too much damage now. With Toka already in the lead. And that crit is very good. Oh, well, quick as a wink. The Alpha Raj is probably going to go down here. I think even if the dart lands on the stuffed toy, it will not be an the Raj will not have enough HP to survive. Well, it's definitely not going to survive this statue. Crushed into bits. And now things got turned around because for Toka's second dino, it is Super Lillian Sternus. The green little pest itself is going to have the tight disadvantage against our Acro. Fools Katamato turning it around, stealing the match's momentum, and now all of a sudden, could it could take the lead. Scratch and scratch. <laughs> I got new headphones for Christmas, I did. And they're very good headphones. Well, look at this from Amato turning the screw on this man. Look at the damage! Almost half the health is gone. I right, asked once. I think the awake mode is on three. But based on that hit, we're probably not going to see it. Or are we? Well, look how little damage this is going to do. Well, not too bad, actually, I suppose. Two. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, we are going to see the awake mode. And the Lillian Sternus is on the left. Ooh, what have we got here? We got a Cyclone, so the odds will now be in Toka's favour to get this hit while in the Awaken mode. Mm, going for a crit. Okay, I'm just going to wait a minute so we get a good screenshot. Oh, not getting it! Instead, it's going to be an Alpha Dart and a recovery to come. Fool's Captain Atto dodging the bullet there. And it's definitely stolen this match's momentum. Another Dino Man statue. Oh, it's, oh, it's dead. Again, let's not count Toka Nightmare out yet. Because they got Bronthakins. And we know how powerful this beast can be. Bronthachania. It's a goy. 
Well, this this is an interesting crossroad, no, isn't it? Force Cat Mako has the momentum, but Toka has Brontekins. Who gets the first hit? Boosh! Oh, that's a tie. I, yes, this Brontekin does have Ocean Panic. But ties will suit Fool's Cat and Mako, though. Wearing away at Brontekin. Getting a hit, but again, it's tight disadvantage. Yeah, look at that. No damage at all. And the Hydro Cutter has been triggered. But it's not activated. It's Token Nightmare done. Fool's Cat and Mako, well on top. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, it's the heat eruption! What? What? Why is this thing getting heat eruption? Because the Brontekin's getting freaking ocean panic off. Oh, I fully expect an ocean panic there, but it's not this heat eruption. Oh, it's killed it! <laughs> Took a nightmare! Having a nightmare again! And Fool's Cap of Mako pulling off what I would call a surprise victory and advancing to the last 16 round where they will meet Diddy Darius. What, what happened there? You got off heat eruption. Wow. <laughs> uh, enter the Allosaurus means for that one. Uh, actually, no. Save them for this next matchup because I'm up next and I'm going to be taking on Dark Ashtar and probably losing based on how my tournament has gone so far. Good luck. Well, let's see if 2022 will be kinder to me than 2021 was tournament-wise. Right, in the red corner for our hosts, this is Mega Raptor. What a massive game this is for our hosts. They could be going out to the last 60, at the last 32 round. They went out to the last 16 round last time, but we don't talk about that. And already they have the type disadvantage because in the blue corner for Dark Ashtar, it is a Metric Amphasaurus. And well, this Metric Amphasaurus has carried Dark Ashtar through a lot of their matches, so there is that saving grace. If I can take this thing out early, maybe, just maybe, I can win. <laughs> and my second dino is the Wild Child itself, the Gamma, so we can take it out, we can win this. So we've got our faith, but we can win this. And when I say, when I say we, I mean me. <laughs> Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, no heat eruption. That's all right. Ties do favor the Met, though. Oh, it's a good start from the Metriacanthosaurus. Getting the technique boost going. Which means we'll be, we'll be seeing some heat eruptions. Oh, another hit. That maxes up the technique boost. That's good for Dark Ashtar. A good start. Ooh, but the Mega Raptor strikes back, and again, the tight disadvantage, yeah, look at that, not much damage done at all. It's rock, it's, well, paper would be awesome, because, or would it, though? Would paper be good, though? Because the crit block would happen, well, unless I get Cyclones off, yeah, speak of the devil, that could be just what our host needs, the Cyclone can cancel out the heat eruption there, so the more Cyclones, the better. Oh, oh, well, that would have been a tie, and we probably would have seen peak eruption, but Cyclone denies it. Well, so far, not too bad. I've got more hits off, but it's even, because, you know, my hits are doing squat. Oh, oh, it's a tie. Ooh, ooh, the blunder type there. Nullifying the tornado toss. Oh, another hit from the Mega Raptor. This is actually going surprisingly well. I'm waiting for it to go wrong. <laughs> oh, oh there, there it is. There is the crit. Finally, Dark Ashtar has the common sense to use rock because they've been going scissors every time. Right then, now for the wild child, the Kamarasaurus. And if at any time I need this thing to work, it's now. Like, this is, this is, we've seen this before, though, where the Metric Amphasaurus almost dies and then somehow gives Dark Ashtar, like, a 2-0 lead. We've seen this before many times. 
you don't finish the first dino off, then you end up 2-0 down. Oh, the oh, oh, big lag there, big lag. Come on, computer, pull yourself together, but it's a softening beam. Getting a taste of my own medicine, yeah? And it tastes quite hot and spicy. And for the record, I'm not keen on spicy foods. Oh, look at well, okay, I can't complain too much. I've got quite a lot of hits off this match, but his hits are doing more damage. Oh, well, there's a softening beam, and the Metria Camphosaurus going down. So Dark Ashtar will not have a 2 0 lead, thankfully. But they still have a decent lead. And one hit from the Armatus coming in next will surely kill the camera. Now I need to get times. Although, this thing does have sand traps, so... It's... Well, this is coin toss, isn't it? Like, like the last matchup where Brontekins had the Ocean Panic, Alpha Acker had the Heat Eruption, and somehow the Heat Eruption happened. So, based on that logic, Sand Trap is more likely to happen than Ocean Panic. Even though my camera has more technique than this thing, you know, the odds seem to favour the left, right side. Well, but we're about to find out. Oh, well, we're not going to find out. Armatus is going to get the hit. And Dark Ashtar has a 2-1 lead. Alrighty then. It's all on Dynamicus again. <laughs> But again, it's, it's been an even match, but Dark Ashtar's hits do have done more damage. Like, again, if I got off the Tornado Toss instead of... If I was getting Tornado Tosses off instead of Scissors, this would be a completely different match. Like, put it that way. All the, if all those Scissors were papers, I, I'd probably still be winning. I'd probably still have my camera and EB down to his third dino. And they were probably even taking a beat it. Ooh, I'll take this though. It's a spinning attack. Big damage coming on at this is way. Come on, Dynonicus. Show them the strength of the pack. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. This is, they're basically the Dinosaur King versions of the Raptor Squad. This is, um, well, we'll call it, we'll call him Green because he's green. Well, Quick as a wing, Armatus is dispatched. Defense boost is maxed up. Stranger coming back, maybe. But we got another rap drone storage here in for Dark Ashtar, and it's the Eucharaptor. Well, this is close. Although, I do have to get around Dino Illusion, which is going to be awkward. However, if I can keep getting off spinning attacks, or if it keeps getting triggered, I will have type advantage over this thing. <laughs> Guess it's all on this, isn't it? Can he, can the host pull it off? Oh, that's a tie. Well, ties actually favour Dynamicus. Seem to take less damage. Oh, it's a crit. Not much damage, though, which is good for me. Just got to stop him getting crits. Oh, here comes the light recovery. Dynonica striking back. Oh, there's the Dino Illusion. Light recovery there. I swear, if I lose the Dino Illusion, I'm banning it for my next tournament. Well, there goes the Dino Illusion. Oh, there's another tie, but again, ties will favour the Deinonychus at this point. Oh, another tie. Don't want to go rock. I want to go, well, I want to go scissors, really. Oh, I've done it! Oh, I've done it! The Deinonychus pulls it off, and I finally win a match! Well, that's, I, I, that's it! On, on the form of... On form, that's quite an upset, actually, because Dark Ashtar was doing really well, looking really, really good, but in the knockout rounds, it is the hosts going through. 
Stranger Gamer going through. And well, <laughs> this is probably be the last 16 will probably be as far as I go because I'll probably have to play Ultima Dino Queen next. But we'll find out in the next matchup, which as I said, is Ultima Dino Queen going up against Jonas Chu. Right then, in the red corner, for Ultima Dino Queen, it is the Utraptor. Ultima Dino Queen winning 5 out of 5 in the group stage. Well, can she, can she break history and win this tournament without taking a single loss? Well, she's always, she's always gone close, got to the semis, but always seemed to come up short in the semis. Will she go all the way this time? We'll have to see, won't we? But, in the blue corner for Jonas Chu, we have the Stegosaurus. Jonas Chu getting out of Group F. Yeah, it's Group F. Doing reasonably well, getting some good wins. But, can the not can they... And they do well in the knockout rounds. Jonas Chu got knocked out of the group stage last time out. But this time they got out of the group stage. So they're already doing better than they did last time. Oh, that's tie. I will say, ultimate... Well... I don't want to say it because they've won 5 out of 5. But... Some of the matches, they have shown lots of, that plenty of vulnerability. Kind of like Heady as well. Who also won 5 out of 5. They have shown vulnerability, so they're not... They haven't... It's not like as if they've won 5 out of 5 because they basically looked untouchable. You know, both of them have shown plenty of vulnerabilities, and there's no reason why Jonas Chu can win this match. Why Jonas Chu can't win this match. Well, so far, they're not winning this match. It's Ultima Dino Queen in the lead. But this mole attack could be crucial for Jonas Chu here. Getting his first hit of the match. Ooh, well, it's kind of pointless because the Steg's going to die anyway. A pointless earth barrier there. Although, Stegosaurus getting off some hits. Oh, you dropped this dead. And has the lead. Well, it won't be extending the lead because Queen Second Dino is the Anatta Titan, which has probably been the most impressive dinosaur in her arsenal. We've seen how effective it can be, and we've definitely seen it get off Thorn Whip more times than not. Dun, bang, bang, bang. <sighs> oh, well, there goes the stag. And well, Jonas Chu, well, can't really call it a lead, to be honest, but Jonas Chu does have the lead. A very, 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 very subtle one. But it is a lead. As for, as for Jonas's second dino, it is the, the Mapusaurus. Mapusaurus is going to be an interesting one for Evolution 2. And yes, I, I finally fixed freaking Evolution 2, so I can actually now make mods for Evolution 2. So look for a mod showcases this month. I don't know what I'm going to put in it, but you'll just have to see. Another tie. Ties fit probably. No! Okay, it's only a six. <laughs> Almost messed it up. Almost messed it up there. And that's a Titan Gown off a crit there, but it didn't do much damage. However... Here comes the customary Thorn Whip. Boosh! Which did do some damage. Ultima Dino Queen. Looking set to make it six wins in a row. I should point out, the record for consecutive wins in my tournament is nine. And I was set by Ultima Dino King. For Ultima Dino Queen to win this tournament, she's going to have to beat that record. Yeah, yeah, should have to win. That's 32, last 16, quarterfinal, semi-final, and the final. So that's five matches she'd have to win. So that'll put her up to 10 wins in a row. Of course, I, I don't think that's going to happen. Right, as for Jonas Chu's third and final dino, it is Spinotector. Let's not count Jonas out yet. We have seen this Spinotector pull it up, pull it back for him before. Will it do it again? Up to the top. Well, the bar fills up, which Jonas won't mind. Finally getting a hit. It's a water sword. Oh, 
Ugh, this Neptune stream. I don't like this move. I think for my next tour, I'm probably going to just straight up ban these moves because I just don't like them. But like, it's not because they're overpowered or anything. They're just annoying to do. Like, they are cool moves. Don't get me wrong. It's just annoying to do. And I just don't like them. Yeah, that's why I pretty much... This is why you ban them for the Super Dinosaurs because it's even worse. Like, imagine doing this in the Awaken mode and, you know, you got to concentrate on this. A lot of... A lot of risk for human error, if you get what I mean. And I'd rather not do that. But now things get interesting, because the Queen's third dino, it is the Omega Eocarcaria, which will be at the tight disadvantage against Spinopector. And yes, also look out for normal Dinosaur King episodes coming soon. Now that I, fi now that I finish the group stage, I'm going to do regular Dinosaur King videos now. Probably some English gameplays, because I haven't done any for ages. So yeah, look forward to that. Queen getting the first hit there. Although, ooh, might see Dino Tector versus Omega Arm. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Oh, it's a tie. Look at that. Jonas Chu getting the bar full. Will we see Dino Tector? We are. Now. Now Jonas Chu has the upper hand. Now Jonas Chu has it. Glorious opportunity to get a win over Ultimate Dino Queen and end her, and end her days in the tournament. Well, it's all on this. Oh, Yokakiri gets the hit. Ultimate, Ultimate Dino Queen. It, oh, it's, it's all on this. If Jonas gets the hit, he wins. If Queen gets the hit, she wins. I will say the odds are in Queen's favour because a tie will do it. Oh, that's the after that. <laughs> Ultimate Dino Queen clinging on, clinging on to the to the win. Probably breathing a huge sigh of relief there, because if Ultimate Water had happened, Jonas Chu would have won. Ultimate Dino Queen pulling away, getting through to the last 16 round, where she will have a clash with our gracious host. As for Jonas Chu, well... An improvement on the last tournament, because it didn't get out the group stage last time, but it is unfortunately an exit for them. But they did put up a really good fight, and they were almost inches away from winning. Well, that was a good way to conclude the first part of the last 32 round. Let's have a look at our matchups, and we will end the session. Well, that is how two of the last 16 matches are going to look, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to see Diddy Darius going up against Fool's Kappa Macro. And then probably what the biggest clash in this that will probably happen in this round. Our host Stranger Gamer going up against Ultimate Dino Queen. Ooh, he's got me excited. Oh, that's going to be an interesting matchup, isn't it? I mean, the last time I faced an Eocarcaria, well, was against Ghidorah and I demolished it. Of course, I faced another Eocarcaria and got demolished. So, wonder what this Eocarcaria will do to me. Hopefully get demolished. So yeah, that is it for the first part of the last 32 rounds. So hope you enjoyed. Leave a like. Stay tuned for next time where we will do these four matches. We will have Marissa Kurosame against Random Shy Ghost. Lawrence Steele going up against Morslet. Adolf Adams taking on seven shots. And MEGP10 taking on Hedy. And yeah, until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.